As you can see by the title of this video, we're gonna be going through the top four ways to make $100 a day in 2023 and moving forward. Hey everyone, Joshua Carter here. Welcome back to the channel. I've crossed over a million dollars in sales all before the age of 18. If you are new around here, please hit the like button. It really helps out the channel and subscribe with bell notifications on to not miss future uploads. Without any further ado, I don't wanna waste any more of your time. Let's dive right in. Coming in at the first best way to make $100 a day is skill monetization. This is where you learn in a skill that's high demand and you charge people money for it. For example, you could have YouTube editing, freelancing, doing sales, copywriting, all these high demand skills people will pay a lot of money for. And there's hundreds of skills out there and people are willing to pay for these type of services. And you can start pretty much all of these with zero dollars and it's very low risk doing them. And the best thing is you don't actually have to put that much time into it, which is awesome. As long as you're a bit better than the person that you're selling the service to, they will see value in the service and they will purchase the product. Now, hands down, one of the fastest ways that I made money as a kid was selling lollies in school. And that brings me to my second way of making $100 away and that's selling candy in school. Basically, you go to a wholesale place, you buy the products in bulk, and then you start selling them individually to people at school. Now, a great way that I used to spread my word was using Snapchat to put on my story saying, I'm selling lollies, I'm selling Zappos, I'm selling zombie chews, whatever lollies that you wanted to sell, you can go under there, make a story, and then people will come up to you at school and buy whatever they want. Now, do bear in mind, kids love sugar at school. They don't care. The way you want to price your candy is not that expensive, but not that cheap because of the convenience that they save from not going to the store to buy the lollies, they can just buy it off you at school right then and there. Do be careful though, because when I was selling lollies in school, the canteen shut me down, the school shut me down after two months of doing it, but I did make around eight grand in those two months. So it's definitely very lucrative. And if you're a young kid, you're in school, you should definitely do this. You can start as little as $50 to start with this. And this leads me to my third way to make money and that's being a content creator. Now, this is not for everyone. You know, we've got people that are shy, they're scared to be on camera and everything like that. And people think you need really good equipment to be a content creator. And what I can tell you, you don't need a fancy camera to make good content to blow up on TikTok. You don't even need a fancy lifestyle to be like, okay, I need to be, I need to have a fancy lifestyle to be a content creator. It's definitely not the case. And TikTok is a prime example of this. People are literally going viral on TikTok, getting millions of views for posting the most stupid content, which is crazy. These people are pulling millions of views for free on the most random videos, which is kind of unreal because not many other platforms offer that kind of growth for lower level accounts. And in our days, an iPhone or a high level iPhone, they do the job. They have really good camera. For example, I'm filming on my iPhone right now and the quality is awesome. And if you are just starting out, using your phone is perfectly okay. Once maybe you build up a bit, then you can get a more advanced camera, but using your phone is definitely a good start. But if you do wanna be a content creator, you're gonna to need to be very consistent. You're gonna to have to put the hard work in. But if you do do it long enough, you master the skill of being a content creator, it's gonna pay very big dividends in the future. For example, a YouTube channel in the business niche is willing to pay 50 to $100 per 1,000 views. Whereas if you have an entertainment YouTube channel, like you're posting gaming, you're posting content like that, you're only gonna be receiving two to five dollars per 1,000 views. You gotta be consistent, you've gotta grind, but do bear in mind, entertainment videos do get a lot more views than a business niche video. So yeah, business niche content creators, they do make a lot of money if they are pulling in thousands of views, but also the entertainment people are as well because they'd get millions of views, hundreds of thousands as well. And without a doubt, the last method that I'm about to share with you hands down is by far the best. And today it's called credit card scamming. Wait a minute. No, 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 please don't scam people, don't do that. <laughs> what it actually is, is creating your own digital product or service. And in my experience, digital products are the lowest risk and highest profit business in the world. Most of the time you can start these digital product service based businesses with zero dollars and you can sell these for hundreds if not thousands of dollars a piece. And an example of this, you're going to be very familiar with this 
and that's an online course. And I know too many people that make six or seven figures by selling a digital online course. And I know courses have very bad reputations because of the few bad people in the industry. But as long as the coach is good and the information that they're showing is valid and it can truly be life changing, the information you can learn inside of some of the courses. I've bought several courses online and I can tell you I've excelled and doubled my income from these courses. Because simply with a course, you can go in there, you can follow the content, get access to what's working right away and start making more money. And for you, I believe it's a great way to make money if you don't have much. So how do you do it? The first question you've got to ask yourself and answer is, what can you provide that's unique for a digital product or service? Are you really good at drawing? Are you really good at doing the drums? Are you really good at writing, typing? Whatever there is, there's a high chance people will pay for this service as long as they see value. And maybe you don't have any of these skills yet, but that's okay. As long as you can get the first method I mentioned, that's skill monetization, and then attach a digital product to that, you can make some serious money. At some point, once you've mastered a skill that's monetizable, you add that product, and then you're gonna start bringing it in, and that's exactly kind of what I've done as well. So as you can see, there is a lot of opportunity online and ways to make a lot of money by not even leaving your house. And all these things I taught you today, they can go together. But that being said, none of them are easy. And anyone that's telling you about their get rich quick scheme, get rich with this passive new income stream, they're just trying to take your money. And all they're doing is just running up their views and they don't have the best interest of heart. So if you're broke and you're looking to make money, I highly recommend trying at least one of these as they can definitely pay dividends. And all of these that I've shared have helped me tremendously and I can vouch for every single one of them. Now, if you do wanna get access to me, one-on-one -on -one support and everything like that, click the first link in the description and book in a free strategy session with me. I'd love to see if we can actually help you make more money online. Now, I post new videos every single Sunday, so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So that's all for now. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Try at least one of these hustles, and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.